congratulations on this. Uh, I'm calling you Thank from you. Toronto, where the film. Thank you. Yes, I'm calling you from Toronto, where the film recently premiered. How was that experience for you at TIFF? Oh, it was fabulous. Uh, the film got standing ovations. I think we got three standing ovations. Um, they, you know, they loved Dame Judi Dench and um, they loved the film. They clapped, you know, at the right yeah. moments. They laughed. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> good, good. Um, when did you get so interested in this story and what fascinated you about it to, to write this book? Well, I sort of tumbled into it in a way. I was visiting Osborne House. I knew Queen Victoria loved curries and she had some Indian servants. Uh, mm -hmm. But it was on a trip to Osborne House on the Isle of Wight, which is Queen Victoria's um, holiday home. It's yeah. there in the Indian corridor that I saw this portrait of Abdul Karim. And he was painted in red and gold and cream and he's holding a book and he looked really regal. He didn't look like a servant. Yeah. And that aroused my curiosity. And then I found more photographs of him, a bust, more, more paintings, uh, and a photograph in Queen Victoria's dressing room just below wow. John Brown. So that really piqued my interest. And I said, I want to know more about him. Uh, yeah. And then, of course, I, I heard his letters had been burned. So then that was not a good starting point. But at the same time, I felt there was something in these letters. You know, why were yeah. they burnt? Uh, and then, of course, I went to Windsor Castle. I asked to see Queen Victoria's journals and Queen Victoria's Hindustani journals. And nobody had opened these before. No Western biographer had opened these. Um, there were 13 volumes where she learned Urdu from Abdul Karim. And uh, this was like, uh, you know, it was their daily life and their relationship in a bubble. It's their private space. So yeah. that really brought the relationship alive to me. And then, of course, it took four years to research the story from different sources. And finally, I found Kareem's diary in Karachi. And wow. that, that was amazing. That was like gold dust. And I could put the whole story together. Yeah. yeah. So it was quite it's a journey. So, yes, yes. It's so fascinating. Why do you think the two of them hit it off so well? Well, I think at this at the time that uh, Abdul Karim came to her uh, came to England was for her golden jubilee. Uh, the Queen is sixty eight. She was lonely yeah. at this time. Um, mm -hmm. She'd been a widow for years. She'd worn black for years. Uh, she uh, she had a brief relationship with John Brown, which had finished. Uh, you know, he had died, and uh, she was lonely again. And four years later. Uh, you know, enter Abdul Karim, and he's this breath of fresh air. He's from yeah. Agra. He's young. He he crosses this threshold of formality, um, and you know the rigid boundaries of her household and her family, and relates to her as a human being. He's there for her. She writes that he's a, he's so comforting, uh, yes. and they form a natural bond. He tells her about India. She wants to know about India. She's never traveled there. He brings India to her. He cooks her a curry, um, you know, she wants to eat a mango and suddenly she's living a different life. She's learning the language. Yeah. She has a new friend. It gives her a new lease of life. Uh, yeah. And I think this develops over 13 years. Absolutely. It's such a wonderful story uh, and a relationship that we didn't know about. And, and thank you for bringing it. How soon did Hollywood come calling? Because I can just imagine as soon as your book was published, they must have said, you must have had a million people coming to you. <laughs> we had quite a few bidders. Yes, there were about six or seven studios that wanted to make the film as soon as the book was published. Uh, but uh, I went with uh, Lee Hall, who's the screenplay writer, because I yes. love his work. He wrote Billy Elliot. He wrote War Horse and uh, working title with great studio from here and they did a joint bid i felt you know that was the strongest uh, i felt my book would be safe uh, with lee hall and um, you know gave it to them and then of course it was all magical after that stephen frears was going to direct and yeah. dame judy dench was going to you know play victoria again it was uh, it was like premier league <laughs> really yes dream come true for sure how hands on uh, were you were you involved at all with the filming of it well, I was a consultant, so, you know, the yeah. historical uh, view, plus uh, I also helped with costumes, getting out pictures um, of, you know, what 19th century Indians would have worn. Uh, so went to the British Library, got photographs from the archive section, uh, street scenes from Agra. So I was a consultant on artwork, costumes as well. Yeah. 
Yeah, wonderful. Well, it's like I said, it's, it's such a great book, but it, it's also such a wonderful film. And uh, just congratulations to you on all the success. I think you need to get your dress ready for the Oscars, okay? <laughs> Judy Dench definitely does. <laughs> right. Thank you, <laughs> you so too. much. You too. wouldn't be there without you. Have a great day. Thank you for your time. <laughs> Thank you.